uh, going to come to a stop in a big hurry, and he's going to have to get, oh, he's jammed in here now. Unit's coming in behind him, and he's stuck in traffic, and this is dangerous for the folks around him, not knowing what's going on, and we'll watch for that pasture. See the pasture is out of the car, and it's uh, starting to fire right now. He's firing at him. Shots fired. And you see the guy stepping out. You see rounds hitting the car. And the downy officer is right there firing at the passenger side. And the passenger fired back at him. So right now we're just going to pull out just a little bit here because you see it's an active gunfight going on right now. The driver's hit, but it's starting to move away. Now it's starting to slowly move away. The officers will get back in their cars, but it's driving away. They're saying that what we're hearing over the police radio is that the, uh, the driver is hit. We don't know about the uh, passenger, and uh, they're just kind of, okay, I can't see any of that. So they're, uh, we're hearing from what the uh, officer is saying that they're just 10 miles an hour here on Bandini uh, moving his way. So hopefully they can uh, uh, get this thing stopped before it takes off again. And officers are just kind of trying to get up as close as they can without getting in harm's way. We're coming up to... Uh, it looks like Downey Road there is what's the next street we're coming to. It, the guy got out, the driver got out. Looks like he's given up. They were on Bandini just east of, of uh, Downey Road is the locator here. Tim, is that a female? I can't tell. We're, we're such a wide shot here. I can't, I could, you're going to have to help me out with that because of uh, the, your monitors are a lot better than ours. So, well, and we can tighten up now. I think you, so I think you could zoom in, in at this point. Yeah, yeah, we just told told to zoom in. So there you have it. Yeah, it looks like a female. Has uh, looks looks like she's got uh, bleeding on the arms. There, it's coming forward. More likely, you'll see one go up front, block the car in, so it can't move. Uh, you know, demobilize the car, and another one will uh, come up to the side of it where the suspect is. So we'll see how we we do. There's the turn. Mm -hmm. He's going up in front, just like clockwork, kind of like we've seen this before. Uh, Driving right up, driver door to the passenger door. He can look down in there and uh, see what's going on. So now they got him surrounded. That suspect, he is now in police custody. He was transported away from the scene here just about an hour ago. At this point, we're trying to confirm his condition, if he was injured. But this is a completely different scene now compared to earlier this afternoon. Take a look behind me. This is the corner of Downey and Vernon here in the city of Vernon, very close to where this pursuit came to an end around 2.45 this afternoon. Downey Police, L.A. County Sheriff's, as you can see, they're slowly clearing this scene. It has been quite a day. At this point, we can confirm one of the two people involved in this pursuit and shooting is in fact the suspect from a previous incident earlier this week, a murder suspect related to a shooting at the ASL liquor store that resulted in the death of the co-owner, 44-year-old Gurpreet Singh. We'll get into that side of the story in a minute, but just to rewind back to this afternoon to this pursuit, take a look. This is Sky 5 video as this chase was happening. This all started as a pursuit of a murder suspect in a black Toyota Prius out of Downey. At some point, this guy was seen shooting out of the passenger side window at pursuing officers. A barrage of bullets flying back and forth as this chase continued from Downey to the city of Vernon, where we are now. Pursuing officers did fire back at the suspect. A female driver was behind the wheel. Eventually, it all came to a stop near Bandini Boulevard and Downey Road. The female, she got out of the vehicle and surrendered herself to police. The passenger, the murder suspect, he remained in the vehicle for some time. He appeared to be in Injured. He was transported most likely to the nearest trauma center. We did see a lot of blood surrounding him and inside the car. No word yet on if he was shot by police and if so, how many times. It's amazing, though, that through all of this, no officers, no civilians were injured. I was, you know, busy working on my truck, and next thing I know, it's just zoo. Nothing but lights and this guy flying in front of him. This is L.A. This is every three days you're going to get one of these around here. Now, again, Downey police confirming this is the same man involved in a separate incident on May 7th, a deadly shooting at the ASL liquor store on the 8500 block of Paramount in the city of Downey. A man by the name of Gurpreet Singh was behind the counter that night. He is the co-owner. When the male suspect, he walked into the liquor store waving his firearm. Surveillance cameras caught the man aiming at Singh. According to Downey police, he was shot several times. It's unclear what the relationship is between the two men or the motive 
behind that shooting. At this point, the shooter confirmed to be the same man. He is now in police custody. Now back out here alive again. That man was transported to a nearby hospital. Uh, his condition unknown at this point. As far as the scene here, a completely different situation compared to earlier this afternoon. They are clearing this area. Bandini all the way down to Downey and Vernon where we are now. Slowly the streets here are starting to reopen. That is the very latest reporting live here in the city of Vernon. I'm Lena Bobian, KTLA 5 News. Right, Alina, thank you so much for that. We continue our breaking news coverage of this high speed chase and shootout from the air now and over to Tim Lynn in Sky 5 overhead. The scene, Tim. Well, I could tell you this is one of the wildest pursuits I've covered in my time here in Sky 5. A uh, suspect was coming up from Downey on the northbound 710 uh, L or Downey PD in pursuit with the LA County Sheriff's overhead. And when we saw him hanging out of the window on the 710 freeway with the handgun, and as they got off at, at Atlantic is when he pointed the uh, handgun at the sheriff's helicopter and then started firing on the Downey officer straight behind him as he made their way on to Atlantic and then on here to westbound Bandini. That gunfire continued from that suspect. Now you have to remember once it came to an end here, it, the shootout occurred between the Downey officer and the suspect. All those bullets that were fired on this pursuit have to be accounted for. So this crime scene is going to run all the way from Bandini and uh, Downey Road all the way back to Atlantic in Bandini where it got off the freeway because rounds were fired down there. So uh, pretty much Bandini is going to be taken out for the rest of the evening. And this investigation will go on for many more hours while they try to determine where every one of those rounds went and to make sure no one else was hit during this pursuit. But a very wild and dangerous pursuit that came up that 710 in excess of 100 miles an hour. Just unbelievable to watch here from Sky 5.